Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan, and today we're going to take a technical dive into using the Python features to customize Mocha Pro. Mocha has a fair amount of customization features, but we don't directly provide controls for changing the interface colors and styles. The good news is that with a bit of Python, you can set this up yourself to customize the style the way you want. The Mocha interface can be changed with style sheets that set things like color, font, spacing, and so on. If you're familiar with style sheets for the web, this is very similar. We're going to start by accessing the overall containing window of Mocha and change its colors. First of all, I'm going to switch from my Essentials mode over to the Classic layout so we can see a bit more of the interface. Then we need to open up the Python script editor. You can do this by going over to the View menu and choosing Python script editor from the bottom of the menu. I also like to set this up as a layout underneath my general layout dropout over here. So let's just select that one, and that just makes my script editor a little bit wider. Inside the Python script editor, we have an open button to open previous scripts, a save button to save the script we're working on, and the all important run button, which will run our scripts. Below, we have the editor window where we'll do our coding, and the output window, which will show things like errors and general Python output, such as printing. So now we can start coding. I'm going to keep this as basic as possible for those that don't code regularly. First up, we need to import the UI module from the Mocha ABI by adding the line from Mocha import UI. Using this module, we can easily access the Mocha GUI elements, otherwise known as widgets. I need to access the main app window by creating a new value called Mocha widgets and then assigning it to ui.getWidgets, open bracket, close bracket. To put it simply, the getWidgets function inside the UI module looks for the top level GUI elements to make up the main interface and stores them in a list. Once we have our Mocha widgets stored, we can then grab the main window by finding it inside the Mocha widgets list. This is called main window, so we type main underscore window equals mocha underscore widgets main window, which is the name of the window inside the list. Now we have our main window, all we have to do is set the styles with a command called set style sheet. We type main underscore window dot set style sheet and then have open bracket, close bracket braces. Inside these braces, we can add any parameters we want to change. It does help here if you're familiar with the general style sheet syntax, but I'll show you some examples. If we type background, color, hash 222222, semicolon, close quotes, this sets the background interface color for all elements to a darker gray. Color in style sheets generally uses either a hexadecimal RGB value, or you can type actual colors like red or blue. Note that the semicolon at the end of the line here. This is important if you're adding more than one customization value. If we run the code, you'll see the background color change darker for all elements in the main window. This is all fine if you want to do an overall color change, but you can take this much, much further and customize each and every item in the interface, or better yet, do it by category. To do this, we can type the category that we want to change, for example, buttons, and change them directly. Inside the same main window set style sheet brackets, let's enter a new line. And here we'll type Q push button, background, Color 320533, three, semicolon, close curly brackets, close string. This will change the background color of the buttons, and we can press run to see the changes. Note that it'll clear the original background color we set, and then set the color of the buttons down here. Let's just draw a shape so that we can see. And we can see now they are colored. Note the curly braces inside the style, this is defining a set for the button. Anything we add inside these curly braces will be applied only to our Q push button. For example, to change the text, we can add another entry inside these curly braces, color 
yellow. If we press run again, we'll see the colours change to yellow. Font size and style can also be changed in the button using the font category. So we can add font, bold, 14 picks, and this will change the colour and size of the font. Note that in each case, I added a semicolon to the end of each one to separate the different changes inside this set. You'll see that the buttons on the toolbar are unchanged. This is because there are a separate category of buttons called tool buttons. If we want to call them to be the same colour, we can add yet another line, Q tool button, background, colour, 320533, semicolon, close brackets, and then run again. And now we see the colours of the tool buttons are also applied. If you're wondering what all these Qs are in front of everything, they stand for Qt, the GUI API that is used by Mocha and many other applications. Here's a final example where I customise all the elements to different colours. I highly recommend delving further into stylesheet examples to see what's possible. You can download a more extensive example of stylesheet changes in the source code from the link below. If you want to explore further and delve into the Python API reference, it's available online in the documentation section of the BorisFX website, or you can look at the general Python guide inside the help menu in Mocha. If you'd like to see more examples of Python in Mocha, let us know in the comments, or post on the forums at borisfx.com.